A very good morning and welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast or Expresso on SABC3. Now, 67 blankets for Nelson Mandela Day has evolved into what some are calling a movement and a movement that has captured the attention of many South African celebrities and do-gooders and made many of us believe in the beauty of that rainbow nation that we seek to build. And even getting Ilana to knit this getting morning. Me to knit. Well, that's, I must say it's all for a really good cause and we've Indeed. had Carolyn on the show before and she's joining us this morning. Carolyn Stein, welcome back. Thank you. It's wonderful to be back. I'm so excited because, you know, we've said it before on the show that we can all go out and just buy a blanket for charity if mm. we could. Mm. But you are doing it for a really good cause. You've started the 67 blankets. Again, how did it start? And you know, it's not even a year old. Mm. It started on the on December 19th. Actually, it didn't start. The idea was born on that day where yeah. Zelda Le Hranzi, Madiba's PA, was seated next to my husband at his birthday lunch. And I was boasting about my domestic abilities, of which I have very few. <laughs> but I did learn how to crochet when I was right. at school. So she said, well, why don't you make 67 blankets for Nelson Mandela Day? And I said, sure, no problem. Completely went out of my head. And my sister arrived with a bag of wool and a crochet hook on Christmas Day. That was my Christmas present. And I started <laughs> crocheting on Christmas Day. I feel at a loss here. I was, I was dragged into here so abruptly. My crocheting's <laughs> behind there. So I'm waiting for my crocheting to arrive. We'll get you started on in, in our next segments. But what has the response been so far? Um, I think that is obviously very big evidence, that big trophy in the middle of the table that is, feel, I'm sure, is very heavy. feel that. Oh, my I mean, that's goodness. that's my dumbbell for, these days. Uh, 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 an award for campaign of the year. This How is crazy. Is that? This we were amazing. nominated for campaign of the year. I could not believe it because we were competing with Coca-Cola, Kellogg's, giant corporations. Mm. We don't even have a bank account. I mm. said to my husband, can you believe this? Giant corporations, huge bank accounts. We don't have a bank account. We trade in wool. He said, my baby, you trade in good wool. Oh, I love that. You trade in good wool. Where do the blankets go? All over. I work very closely with the Nelson Mandela Foundation right. and we deliver to... Places in need, Dipslurt, mm. um, Soweto, Alexandra, Cape Town, their distribution points here. You know, we go, we really go everywhere. Hammond's Kral, there, there's so much need out there. Wow. Mm. There's an orphanage in Hillbrow called the Malaika Orphanage that really needs help. So we need help in Hillbrow. And when you say that, it's, it's not something that really just happens on Nelson Mandela Day every year. It's, it's a continuous movement that happens any time that any viewer would like to perhaps get involved. And how do they do so? Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I put it on to Facebook because I don't have 67 friends, but I've got thousands of friends on Facebook and True. people just hooked into this thing. People want to do something for Mandela and every day should be seen as a Mandela day. Mm -hmm. It's not just about July 18, yeah. you yeah. know. Um, if we can do, I mean, you, you're doing work for Madiba right now as we speak. Mm. Um, so Facebook, 67 blankets for Nelson Mandela Day. Go to the South Africa one. Okay. Because we are all over the world. We've become a global phenomenon. Mm. Mm. We're in Amman, Jordan. We're in Cyprus. The Cypriots are like going crazy with... Oh there's a woman there who's just like driving it. She, her name is Stephanie Pavlidis. <laughs> Um, New York, there's another cuckoo pot there. I mean, we, we, we don't go to sleep. Well, I see her at 3 o'clock in the morning on, well, mind you, it's, it's good hours there for her. I'm, I'm having a giggle because she says cuckoo pot. I, I've known Carolyn for 10 years and I've never known her as a sane woman because she's always been into <laughs> crazy goodwill and, yeah. and changing people's lives. Why does this specific course make you feel like you are giving back, like you're doing something, because the whole world is involved. Well, you know, I thought 67 blankets, let me see if I can do this, and then mm. I can wrap it up for Nelson Mandela Day, and then I've done my bit, and then I can go and lie at the pool. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, I see the way people have really, really come to the, come to the party. Yeah. So many people are involved, and because I've seen such enthusiasm and such heart, and everybody's so active on this group in, on Facebook, it's driven me, it's given me a huge purpose. And I get excited by other people's excitement. I and mean, we've become a real big, that's Timothy Malloy's blanket, I think. Did he oh, do wow. That? I think so. <laughs> that is some skill. Tim Timothy yeah. Malloy can crush. Uh, I'll, can, need I'll need yeah, to learn. I'll need to learn. He's on the show today. He is as well. amazing. You know what? This guy is, you know, he's the most talented performer. Do you know that uh, I was going to marry Timothy? Many oh, wow. Did, did, he okay. know, did he know that? That's just going yeah, in a totally different direction <laughs> right about now. But if you want to find out more information, go to www.67blankets.co.za. And of course, like Carolyn said, go to the Facebook page. And Karen's going to stay with us. So, and uh, group. And group.
the South African group. Karen's going to stay with us this morning, so you must hang around, okay? I will. Where's I'm, that I'm, needle I'm of yours? You're nowhere. bragging about this crochet where's needle. My, Johan, where's my crochet? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, right now it's time for us to listen to some music and it's here with a beautifully fitted song, I think, for this moment right now that says, you're never fully dressed without a smile. 